Uh, Tom Scalick, thanks for coming by again. And uh, tell us, you know, how, how is UVA positioned with its research efforts? Well, our research as a major research university in the country is really at the cutting edge in many, many areas. Uh, one thing we're very proud of is that we're right now leading an effort with the U.S. Department of Commerce to take inventions from our labs out to the marketplace, create some jobs to get our economy untracked. Yeah. How, how, uh, how, so we're here at Open Grounds today. That, that's part of your office. What, um, what was the origin of Open Grounds? And we're actually, I should say, also joined here by, by Doug Carla, uh, Garland, who uh, is a graduate of the engineering school twice and uh, now with uh, Shazam uh, out in, in Silicon Valley um, and was also part of the, the beginnings of Open Grounds. How did, how did Open Grounds come to be? Well, we were seeing more and more interactions between musicians and computer scientists, historians and environmental scientists to attack major social problems. Clean water for every man, woman, and child on Earth, for example. And so we wanted to create a safe place, a place where people could come and explore new ideas that they maybe didn't really have in their regular classes or faculty didn't have in their normal uh, silos, you know, tending to stay in one building or another building. We wanted to have a place where they could mix it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's in, in some ways kind of like the old Jeffersonian idea with the, the lawn where, you know, professors would all kind of hang around and, and go interact with one another on their, at their pavilions. <laughs> It's exactly like that. You got it. <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the 21st century second story. Jefferson built the second story sure? in the academical village so people could cross freely from uh, discipline to discipline, and the students would stop in whenever they heard a compelling lecture. It's exactly what we want to happen here. You can get a hamburger and come across the street. Well, as a matter <laughs> of fact, it's not just the students that stop in, but also alumni like me, and that was one of the exciting things for me about Open Grounds. Uh, you know, the concept of open is talked about a lot in Silicon Valley, where I'm from, as is innovation, as is bringing together multiple disciplines. So when I got to know Tom and he told me about op the Open Grounds initiative, it was very exciting for me as an alumni who's interested in fostering innovation and fostering outreach to the community kind of writ large mm -hmm. uh, outside the bounds of Charlottesville. And so when I think open grounds, I think really open and I think reaching well beyond uh, the campus. Sure, beyond, beyond a, a 900 square foot space or whatever. This was Doug Garland with uh, Shazam and an engineering graduate uh, twice over. So what, what do you, uh, tell us about what you do now with your career and, and how that relates to what's going on here. Well, you know, uh, a great example of that is the company that I work for, Shazam. Shazam is one of the world's leading media engagement companies. We're one of the most downloaded apps of all time in the history of the iPhone. The genesis of the company was solving a very human need. You hear a song that you like. You don't know what that song is. How are you going to identify it? What we've done is develop some technology that will fingerprint that song, match it against a database, and be able to tell you the artist, the information, and give you an opportunity to buy it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it solves a basic human need. Um, if I were to, uh, I could take a, a borrow a quote from Eric Schmidt, who once said this about the sham, uh, Shazam. It is the triumph of mathematics to solve a consumer need. And <laughs> right. in a way, that really embodies the spirit of Open Grounds. Sure. We might have to uh, find some, uh, some way to plug that into WTJU. We, we try and post our playlist in real time, but there's always a little issue with the... Uh... I bet people are shazamming <laughs> WTJU all the time. <laughs> if, if, if all of our songs in your database, you are a, a winner in my book. Um, <laughs> we play some uh, out there stuff sometimes. Um, uh, Tom Scalick, what... Uh, well, What's, what's next? What's your office doing to uh, um, sort of bring the, the, the next level of, of cross-disciplinary research? Well, I could probably tell you about two things. One, as I said earlier, we just uh, connected with the U.S. Department of Commerce to build a statewide innovation network. It's called the I-6 Network. It's the Virginia Innovation Partnership, or VIP. It connects all the universities, all the community colleges, about 10 innovation incubators around the state, from northern Virginia to Tidewater to southwest Virginia, and including Charlottesville. And the idea is that you could connect capital, people, and ideas from place to place and bring up the state's economy. So we're really proud of this. We think if it works, it could be scaled to other states. Very good, very good. Uh, that's about uh, all the time we've got for this interview. We're going to head back to the music. Uh, back to you, Liz. Thanks, thanks so much, though, for uh, Doug Garland for stopping by. Doug Garland from Shazam and a UVA graduate. Also to uh, Tom Scalick, the vice president for research here at the University of Virginia. Thanks a lot. Thank you.